Hi, this is Ray again. I had this exercise that I do with my clients in the workshop and, and it's a very challenging exercise and, and be ready for this. I asked him the question, what if there's no training department? What if there's no training program? What if there's no L&D department? What if there's no coaching? What if there's no content developers? What if there's no website in order to tell people that these are the instructions? What if? Now, then the following question is that, what would the worker do in order to perform his or her job? What would workers do? And as a result, it's very interesting. When I do the exercise, people are saying, oh, they do their own trial and error. They're going to work on their experience. They're going to build their own job aids. And they're going to probably go back and forth and collect everybody to brainstorm on how to solve the problem. They will train themselves. They will mentor themselves, etc., etc., and the like. This is exactly what we call the workflow environment. So for the learners and the workers, by the way, learning and training is a coincidental process. It's important that they go to training. It's valuable that they have training and skills. But foremost, they are learners by themselves. And the training department and the LDN department is only a vehicle to help them with that. But they can exist. And what we need to do in workflow learning design and workflow learning initiative is to be able to help them to propagate this capability to do trial and error, to do innovation, to do self-discovery, to do their own fixing and problem, to work with each other and come up with an answer. This is what we call workflow learning.